So today we are cruising in a Tesla Model S on our way to do a windshield on a Tesla Model S. Okay, we're gonna pop the hood open. First step is we want to remove the wiper blade arms. They are 17 inch socket to remove it. Wiggle it. Keep a note of where it's positioned so you put it back exactly where it needs to go. Arms are removed. The next step is we need to remove the cowling here. So the surrounding pieces need to be removed to get this cowling off. up and out of the way and then this piece of cowling will just come right off next we want to take these side trims off so we want to uh, remove this and uh, pop it up just with your hand is fine. Okay, don't worry about this. Here's the panel. Gently pull it through. And it just comes off. No tools needed. Gently pull it through. And off are off we have to get this cowl off so let's clip there clip here there in there under and off the clips are off this is actually secured into a channel on the bottom of the windshield. So it locks, locks into that channel with that strip. See, just locks into that channel so you just pry it up. Here's a closer look. See this strip here? Locks into that. So we have everything out of the way at the bottom of the glass. That's what we want. So now we want to grab this uh, cutout tool. Get it between the glass. and the molding. And pull down. Until you're right down. And coming down the other side. So all around is now cut from the outside. Next step is to come inside and remove the trim around the mirror so to do that you just grab a panel popper and it will slip between the glass and the plastic and you just pop it off this back piece here and the main piece there you can see it there sandwiched together can put a panel popper between here and just pop it up. I'll just use my hands and there it is. There's two clips in the back, two in the front that locks in there and then the other one oops, it's also held in by clips. You just want to pull it down. 
There'll be clips in the front and back. The clips are approximately here, so you gotta make sure that you're pulling the pressure there. If you put the pressure here or here or elsewhere, uh, it's really thin plastic, you could break it. To remove this mirror, you just need to grab it at the base, which is right here, hold on to it and twist. Okay. Grab it here. just twist it and it comes off. Then now just disconnect the cable. And that will allow this plastic to then fall off as well because the mirror kind of holds it in place. And you can see underneath there's the four clips and they lock in over here, here, here. Now we're left with the camera, rain sensor, um, and uh, what we have to do, we have to get this off the windshield because we have to transfer it to the new one after. So there's some Torx bits here. Um, just undo them. Take all these screws out. There's one there, one there, 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 there. Just remove them. Now remove that, this should drop down. Okay, there it is, the camera. Now we want to unplug it. The little, little tab on the side right there. Push that tab in and the plug will just pop One out. One note I'll make is that when you're doing all of this uh, disconnection of, of um, any uh, harnesses, make sure that you have the vehicle powered off. Don't do this while the vehicle uh, is still powered off. Okay, this is what we're left with now. We're almost there. So here's the rain sensor. Um, and there's the plug. So the next step is just to remove this plug. And then on this side, we have um, another plug here to remove. All the plugs are off. The only thing left now is the rain sensor. And to remove that, there's the metal bracket. Just move it out of the way on both sides. Take this bracket off. And then gently grab one end and pull back very gently. You're gonna feel the rain sensor pad releasing and off it comes. And there's the pad on it. So we put this somewhere safe. Now everything is off the glass. We now cut the bottom from the inside using this blade. So what it tells me is chop it like that. Of uh, XL2 blade. You can notice how long it is. So what you do. Lift up the windshield, see it's coming off the car here. Get the blade between the dash and the glass, okay? And you just slice. See, I'm just, I'm just slicing like this. And it cuts the urethane that holds it on. And then I'll go to the other side, do the same thing, and the glass will pop out. Okay, here's the uh, wiper arm defrost plug this actually plugs into the bottom of the glass so we have to this is from the old glass we have to disconnect this plug and then plug in the new one that'll come in the new glass so that means that the the a pillar needs to come off so here's the pillar it needs to come off so this little airbag plastic thing um, you can use a plastic panel popper or your hand. Just unplug it. Take that bolt off. Seems to be a seven mil. 
Okay, now the pillar should come off and then wiggle it, wiggle it up, disconnect it from this side piece here. Just doing this with one hand so we got this piece out of the way you can disconnect it disconnect it and put it somewhere safe okay and that piece out of the way and then so I'm gonna go ahead and use my tool and basically yeah it's just clipped on just unclip it and the pillow will pull right off and then disconnect this speaker so there it is I unplug the speaker okay there's the plug and then those two slots those are the tabs that lock into it and now we put the somewhere safe and we have access to the plug here that we'll need for the um, wiper defrost line that's going to be at the bottom of our new windshield then it'll plug in there you can see all around there is some urethane here we need to trim this with the exacto knife so you don't want to scratch the body when you're doing this you just or cut the headliner just want to nicely trim it Be very careful with the knife and see now we have an even level plane for the new urethane to come onto without any um, flappy parts like this now you see me applying activator to the glass and I'll also do it to the vehicle um, on the urethane that's left behind the one that we just trimmed this makes the new urethane bite onto the glass and the vehicle the next step now is we want to lay a bead of urethane I'm using the Sika drive urethane and the tip slice like that we're gonna lay it all around and then drop in the glass here you can see the urethane applied to the vehicle. Set into position. Put tape to hold it so it doesn't move while the urethane cures. And now we just put everything back together like the cowl, the wiper arms, those plastic trims, the pillar and the camera. With the rain sensor just put everything back together the way that you took it apart and it's done well there you have it guys that is how you change a windshield on a tesla model s I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if it was, just leave me a like so I know. And comment below if you have any questions on this. I can get into more details. Um, if you are new to changing windshields, please refer to one of my other videos that kind of show you the details of doing um, very uh, specific parts of changing a windshield, such as cutting the urethane down by the uh, dash, um, you know, like, and also using the hand tools to cut windshields out. Um, so if you're curious about that, just visit my other videos on how to change windshields. Um, if, the, if there's any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. I'm out.